just ended about one minute ago to thunderous applause for former President Bill Clinton. His plane landed here just after 3.30. A five-car motorcade with Secret Service agents got him here. They came out with, uh, he came out with Louise Slaughter and Kathy Hochul at 4.11. We heard from Kathy Hochul briefly and then Congresswoman Slaughter. And then Bill Clinton took the stage uh, about 4.25, and by my count, he just uh, spent about a half an hour, actually more than 30 minutes, talking about all kinds of things, saying, for example, that Kathy Hochul uh, gets things done in Congress and that Louise Slaughter has brought more job-specific jo specific job-related projects to her area. Now Bill Clinton is on the floor. Is that right, Warren? I can't quite see from where my vantage point. The former president is on the floor uh, to the excitement, I'm sure, of a lot of people that hung around. Why don't we take a moment now, if we have the uh, sound ready, and listen to what President Clinton said earlier uh, about a half hour ago. What works is when you've got a good economy and a good government and they're working together at the community level, at the state level, at the national level. That's the only thing that works. What works is when we recognize we're all in this together, not you're on your own. What works is when we recognize that nobody's right all the time, so we favor cooperation over constant conflict. Uh, Bill Clinton, uh, I'm on the floor actually about uh, 10 feet below where the camera vantage point is. I understand that he is signing autographs and uh, just shaking people's hands. He was in rare form here. I can tell you that this was the old Bill Clinton, a rousing speech. But uh, as I think about it, he was here two years ago to campaign for Dan Maffei, the congressman from Syracuse. And Maffei ended up losing that race, a very close race, to Republican Anne Marie Burkle. I'm going to throw it back to you. And if you throw a question to me, I hope I can hear you. We're good for now, Ray. We'll uh, have some questions for you in the next half hour, though, I am okay. sure. Ray Lovato reporting from inside the uh, Main Street Armory tonight and covering the 42nd President of the United States and uh, his campaign speech on behalf of Democrats. We contacted Congresswoman Slaughter's opponent, Monroe County Executive Maggie Brooks, for her response to President Clinton's visit today. She said no political rally will change Congresswoman Slaughter's 26-year record of taking over $5 million in special interest cash, then pushing the tax hikes they wanted. Louise even voted against President Clinton's historic welfare reform legislation, proving she would rather hand out trillions of our tax dollars than get millions of Americans back to work. End quote. Comments today from the Maggie Brooks campaign. Remember, News 10 NBC is Rochester's official election source. Go to WHEC.com, click on the Decision 2012 tab, and you'll find helpful information as you head to the polls in November.